Well, hey, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of Soulful Sunday. As always, I hope you all are doing well and staying safe during this crazy, crazy time. Here in Canada, it is uh, Thanksgiving weekend this weekend. And I know there are a lot of people who have decided to not get together with their friends and family because of the current state of affairs, what's going on in our world. But I hope that uh, all my Canadian people out there have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Welcome to the new, the new space. This will be how things will look for a little while until I get bored. Negative people and how you need to get them out of your life. Uh, a new topic that we're going to focus on for a couple of weeks. This actually, this this topic came to me while I was watching TikTok one night. Uh, yeah, it's it's a guilty pleasure, so to speak. But surprisingly, aside from all of the, the crap that you may have heard about TikTok, um, there is actually a lot of really great creators on the app. And uh, But anyways, I was flipping through TikToks one night and I came across this rheumatologist. He was talking about a patient that he had many, many years ago. Um, a young, younger woman who he had been seeing for a while as a patient. And no matter what they did, they just could not find the right treatment protocol for her. He had tried all the anti-inflammatories, all of the biologics, everything, all the DMARTs, you know, the, the common, common treatments. And she ended up moving away and uh, leaving his care. Well, about five, six years later, he happened to uh, run into her at a clinic. And she was doing amazingly well. When she was his patient, she had next to no mobility. Her pain lasted all day, every day. And as I said, they just, they couldn't get a handle on things. It was spreading. It was out of control. And he saw her and was absolutely amazed by how well she was doing. She was walking easily. She was, it was just, she looked happy. She looked healthy. She'd lost weight. So he went over to her and he said, I remember you. And when you were my patient, you were in rough shape. He said, what, what happened? What combination of meds ended up working for you? Well, the woman looked at him and said, it wasn't actually any medication. Um, she said, I got rid of my asshole boyfriend and my world changed. Amazing, right? She went on to say that she was, was in remission and had been for three, four years. And that really the, the missing piece of the whole situation was the boyfriend and she just needed to get him out of there. So that led me down a rabbit hole, so to speak, of doing some investigating and doing some research on how negativity and toxicity affects those of us with chronic pain. We know that stress causes us to flare. Well, if you think about it, if you're around toxic people, if you're around negative people all the time, your stress levels go up, 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 right? They keep you in that heightened state. And therefore, your inflammation is going to go up, 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 up. Drawing from my own experience, I didn't realize when I was in my previous relationship, I spent seven years with this person who really was so toxic and I, I didn't recognize it. I didn't know until it became so bad that I just said, enough is enough, I'm out of here. But the thing that started to happen with me physically was that I got worse and worse and worse and worse. I was only on Celebrex. I went off of my methotrexate. I wasn't taking care of myself. I was eating horribly. I was at a weight that was not good. The, the highest it had ever been and has ever been was during that time. The person I was with really just suppressed me so much, you know. She had no problem with me using a wheelchair when we would go to do errands, you know, when we would go to do groceries and so forth. Um, and the reason that I, I had to use a wheelchair was because I couldn't walk more than a few steps without having debilitating pain. Um, I remember the rheumatologist would say to me, 
what, how's your morning stiffness? And I would say, it's not morning stiffness. It just doesn't go away. Uh, even my eyes that had been stable for many, many years began to flare again. And I ended up having more damage to my vision, which I will forever have. It's irreversible. When I left that relationship, I began to take better care of myself because I wanted to, but also my stress just went down, 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 down. And therefore my inflammation also began to go down, 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 down. I am now the happiest I've ever been. I am with someone who loves me, understands me, supports me unconditionally. So what I didn't know at the time was that that person that I had been with for seven years had been so toxic. I'm going to go through the the signs that someone in your life is toxic. Now you may have multiple people in your life that are toxic and that are holding you back and not allowing you to be the best that you can be. So let's go through the list and let's take a look at the signs that someone is toxic. The first type of individual that I'm going to talk about is someone that I call the spreader. So this individual is the one who loves to spread negativity. They feel best when you come down to their level, when you will engage with them uh, about negative things, whether it be engage with them in anger um, or just overall negativity. You know, those ones that I'm talking about, the ones who no matter what, will always find the negative in something in, in life. No matter what happens, if it be positive or not, they are going to dwell on the negative aspects of everyday life and they're gonna push it out there and spread it. The critic, the type of person that will criticize everything you do, absolutely everything. Again, from the most minute of things to the most major of things, they will, as soon as they step into your home, as soon as, soon as they are in your presence, they will critique you. I've had someone in my life who didn't do this directly to me, but uh, did this to my wife. She might have been feeling great about herself that day, but yet this individual would look at her and say, my God, you look like shit today. What's the point of that? Well, the point of it is for those people, it makes them feel better. They will critique your home, your family, your other friends even. So keep an eye out for the critic. The time waster. What they are doing is they are unloading their problems on you. They will constantly repeat the same thing over and over and over again. The same topic. They'll keep going back. Even if you've talked to this person, you know, a hundred times in the last couple of days, about the exact same thing, they will continue to dwell on it. They will continue to monopolize your time and waste it. Beware of this one. They are the green-eyed monster. They're the jealous ones. The ones who, no matter what you do, again, whether it be a positive thing in your life or even a negative thing they will just always be jealous you know when you talk to this person and say i just got a raise or a promotion or something i've done is being recognized they will respond with jealousy basically taking your accomplishment and turning it upside down and making it about them so watch out for that person who is the green-eyed monster the victim this person can be a bit difficult to identify at first because you will most likely feel sorry for them. You will empathize with them. You will want to help them. However, what you will find is that this person is constantly in crisis. This person is always the victim and no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, all the advice that you give them is basically going in one ear and out the other because they are really, really happy and comfortable to be the victim. So beware of that because again, they kind of go right along with that time waster who makes everything about them, right? They monopolize your time and then while they're monopolizing your time, you're also trying to help them. But as I said, in return, you're not getting anything. This is the person that is cold hearted and just doesn't care about anyone. Now, if you are someone who 
cares deeply about other people. This next type of person is really foreign to us. We don't understand how people can be like this. This person who doesn't care, not going to show any remorse. They're not going to show any empathy for you when you are in crisis or just need a friend or someone to lean on. They're not going to care and they're not going to have time for you. They're basically going to say something like, listen, I have my own problems. I can't deal with yours right now. That person's energy, you don't need that type of energy in your world. So get rid of them. This person will also be extremely self-centered, tying right back into the not having time, not having, not caring for other people. Everything is about them, no matter what is going on in your world or in the world in general, they will make it about them. They are extremely myopic. They can only see what's right in front of them. And most of the time that's a mirror so that they can look at themselves. Then we have the person who is the chronic disappointer. They will make promises to you. They will say, we will do this. We will go there. I'm here for you. And then when you need them, they disappoint you and they don't show. This is usually a repeated action. It's not just a one-off thing. You know, we can all sometimes feel that we let other people down again, because we feel that we have remorse for that. We change it. However, the type of toxic people I'm talking about do not care. They will disappoint you time and time and time again. They will give you all kinds of lip service, but when it comes to the crunch, they won't be there. So tell me, is there someone in your life that matches every one of these points? When I've mentioned these things, do you go, oh my goodness, that is so-and-so. If it is, stay tuned because next week I'm going to outline the things that you need to do to get these people out of your world. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Soulful Sunday. I hope it's given you something to think about. Take a look this week at the people around you and what they are contributing to your life. Begin to identify those negative, toxic individuals in your world. Everybody take care and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye for now.